I think one of the trickiest things as we get older is to be able to apply makeup successfully to our eyes so that they actually look a better shape. I'm going to demonstrate this on myself so that you can see some techniques just using eyeshadows and mascara which really make a difference. So I'm going to show you a very simple technique in this video uh, to uh, how to reshape your eyes just using eyeshadows and uh, I'm going to be using our trios palette. You'll see that this has got three colors, a paler shade, uh, a mid-tone shade and a darker shade and I'm going to use all three of those. So to begin with I'm going to prep my eyelid using our eye primer. And it's very simple what you do with this, just a dot in the middle of your eyelid like that. You don't need very much. And you can just use your finger to smooth that in. What this is going to do, it's going to create a, a really perfect surface on my eyelid so that the eyeshadow looks a truer color and also stays put, which is really important. So having done that, the first thing I'm going to do is just use this lighter shade um, using this, this brush and simple procedure, just smoothing that like this with the brush. What you're doing with shadows and as I said reshaping the eye Think of the three areas that you're trying to draw attention to. So you've got your eyelid, you've got your brow bone, and then you've got a socket line. And they're the things that are giving shape to your eye. So this is the lid, the lid area, and I'm using the palest color. So the next thing I'm going to do is to push this color here, which is called Bluebell. Now I'm cool toned and th these are all cool toned colors and I'm wearing this purpley top. We've obviously got warm tone colors and lots of other choices um, if you would prefer something different, but I'm going to use this because I think it's going to, going to suit me really well. So this middle color here, the Bluebell, I'm going to put this into the socket line. So above the eyelid and this again is quite a simple procedure. Now, if you have hooded eyes, you may not have very much in the way of a socket line because what happens with a hooded eye is that your skin has become loose and has kind of closed over that, uh, that line between the lid and the brow bone. So what's brilliant about eyeshadow is that it, it creates the illusion of a socket like that. So I hope you can see what I've done there. I've got the lighter color here and above it, I have the, uh, the, the mid-tone color. Now, when you've done that, it's quite a good idea with eyeshadows always to blend to make sure that you haven't got any sharp edges to it. So just using a clean brush and then just make working that product in like that. So I hope you can see the difference now between this eye and this eye and how just that simple procedure has really created quite a big difference. The next thing that I'm going to do is use the darker eyeshadow, this one here, which is called Midnight Blue. So this is really uh, quite dark. And this wedge brush, this tiny little wedge brush, I hope you can see that. This is the perfect shape to do this. Now, the reason that I'm using this darker shade uh, shadow um, and I'll show you where I'm going to put it is because I want my lashes to look as thick as possible. And the reason that people use eyeliners is to create the illusion of thicker eyelashes. Now, I'm not going to use a gel eyeliner or anything like coal, a coal pencil or anything like that because it's very hard. It, it's very difficult to control on an, eye, on an older eyelid. So this one, it being shadow, makes it very, very much easier to apply. And the great thing about it is you don't have to be super precise. If, you, if like me, your eyelids are quite crepey, which means that they're bumpy, just pushing that down into your lash line in the way that I'm doing it means that you're resting the brush against the lashes. And as I said, you're just pushing that eyeshadow 
down into the base of the lashes. So if I turn back and let you have a look at what I've done there, you can see that quite quickly I've created this line. Now I'm also going to put a little bit of this underneath as well here, like that. And because I want my eyes to be a slightly more almond shape, I'm going to pull that eyeshadow out to create a kind of corner like that. So again, if you're comparing this eye with this eye, I hope you can see the effect of that. Last thing I'm going to do is to apply some mascara. And it's up to you whether you do the top lashes and the bottom lashes. I quite like doing both. But with mascara, wiggle, wiggle up, wiggle, wiggle up. You're just adding that last bit of definition to your eyes. And mascara is brilliant because it's, it's going to make your eyes look more open and a lot bigger. So again, I'll, I'll turn back so that you can see clearly what, I, what I'm doing here. Our um, mascara is quite soft when you apply it. It doesn't make your eyelashes all spiky and hard. And the reason for that is that I think when you are older and you, it looks a bit like you've got a spider that's landed on your face, it's not a good look. So having lashes that are well coated in product and are definitely darker and well defined looks like our mascara creates, looks lovely, but it doesn't make them look all spiky and hard. So that's more or less all I'm going to do. And I hope you'll agree that just by doing that very simple procedure, it has made quite a big difference. I'm now gonna put the other, um, do the other eye in exactly the same way that I've done this one. And uh, you'll see what the effect of that is com uh, completed. So I hope that was useful. So now I've made up both eyes and you can see the finished effect. I do hope you enjoyed that and found it useful and that there were one or two tips and techniques there that you could pick up and apply to your own eye makeup. And in fact, if you want more help, we've got several eye makeup videos on our website. We've got one specifically about hooded eyes. We've got another which covers what to do if you've got deep set eyes and also if you wear glasses, which is a real problem for some women. So do take a look at those because I think you'll find that uh, they'll give you lots of information that's useful. And tomorrow I'm going to look at lips, that problem of with uh, lipstick feathering and bleeding and also making sure that your lips look as full and as luscious as possible. So that's something to look forward to. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.